Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. The problem reads, the boat is traveling along the circular path with a speed of v equal to 0 0.0625 t squared meters per second, where t is in seconds. Determine the magnitude of its acceleration when t is equal to 10 seconds. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics Dynamics uh, 14th edition by RSC Kibela. Right, so we have a boat here that is traveling, traveling along a circular path. And uh, its speed, we've been told, is 0 0.0625 t squared, where t is in seconds. We have been asked to determine the magnitude of its acceleration when t is equal to 10 seconds. So let's define some of the things that we are expected to know. So in this particular uh, cave linear uh, problem we are going to use the t and the n coordinates okay t for tangential n for normal right these are the coordinates that we are going to use to define uh, our velocity to define our acceleration and so on and so forth so we know that our v, okay, if we expressed it as a vector, is going to be equal to v itself, scalar quantity, times the unit vector ut, okay? All right. And this v itself, okay, this scalar quantity is equal to s dot, which is just also just equal to ds dt. Okay, all right, so, and we've been told that our V in our case here is already given as 0 0.0625 T squared. So we already have this. We also know that our acceleration, our acceleration, okay, as a vector, Okay, is equal to uh, a t times the unit vector in the t direction, which is tangential to the curve, plus a n times the unit vector in the normal direction, the n direction, like so. Okay, where a t, okay, the scalar quantity here is equal to v dot and this is equal to dv dt right and then a n okay this uh central pito acceleration right this normal acceleration towards the center of uh, this particular radius is equal to uh, uh, velocity squared divided by rho, where rho is the radius of curvature. And if you want to know how this is derived, you can just get back to your, uh, the book to just go and look through it, how this was defined. I will not explain it in this particular problem. So these are the equations that we are going to use to determine the magnitude of our acceleration. And the magnitude itself is going to be equal to, just using Pythagoras theorem, to be equal to a t squared plus a n squared. Right. So it's like we have everything that we need. Let's just plug them in. We do have everything, we have all the equations, we just need to plug them in, in our equations so that we find what we want. 
Right, so we said we have V already. IP said we do have V, okay, which is this one here. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we now need uh, 80. So 80, IP said is equal to uh, dv dt and this is equal to dv and this the v itself we said it is this okay so with respect to dt therefore at which is the acceleration tangential to the curve if we are to find the first derivative of that that gives us a 2 by point zero two zero six two five uh, t right and this is going to be equal to uh that's two by point zero two five zero zero six two five so this gives us a zero point one two five t okay that's in meters per second squared so found a a t Let's find this centripetal acceleration a n. So this one we said is equal to uh, velocity squared divided by rho, where velocity itself we already know it is point zero six two five t squared, and rho is radius of the curvature is equal to forty meters. This one is meters per second. Right, so if we are to plug in those values in there, then we will say 0 0.0625 t squared. Okay, we are squaring this, then divided by 40. Then this gives us, all right, we can leave it like this for now. So now let's plug in, let's evaluate it at t equal to 10 seconds but let's also do that in advance for this other one here let me just move this evaluate this so let's evaluate this at t equal to 10 seconds so this becomes equal to we are feeding 10 here where is t okay so if we are to do the multiplication by 10 that that just becomes a 1.25 meters per second squared we do the same also here a n okay at 10 seconds we plug it in we are plugging it in there where we have t squared so we'll have a t squared uh no 0 0.0625 uh, times t squared which is a 10 right which is a 10 squared okay and then squared of that again then divided by 40. so this gives us a 0 0.9766 this is meters per second squared let me just repeat it 0 0.0265 by 10 squared okay then by 2 again divided by, oh sorry, 0.625 uh, by 10 squared. Uh, squared again, then divided by 40. All right, so we have these values. Therefore, the magnitude is equal to like we said it's just going to be equal to uh 80 squared plus a n squared so if we are to plug in these values this one here and this one here we square them using pythagoras theorem um maybe let me not round off this so that i don't just step the final solution but you can round it off if you want to there's really no problem for me I'll write it the way it has come out on my calculator. Okay, nine seven six five six two five. Great. So I'll say squared of that. 
squared of that plus 1.25 squared also and square root of that then I'll round off the final answer which is 1.59 okay meters per second squared I repeat that again so 0.9765 uh 625 squared plus 1.25 squared and square root of the final as 1.59 so this is the final solution which is the magnitude of our acceleration right okay this is the magnitude of our acceleration so let's say we had a value we had one component in this direction like so then we had another component tangential to that like so and then we had our final solution let me look at the value that is bigger uh, along the t so let's say we had our resultant which is there okay so let's call this our a and then we call this as our a t then we call this as our a n like so Alright, I think this is really about it and I hope this video is helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.